Cured? Yeah. Yeah, five minutes in the car park. Yeah. So how's the uh, front clip and the dingo working for you? Much better. Yeah? Yeah. So what I'm going to get you to do, I'm going to get you to do the rounds. Now this is where everybody stays nice and chilled out. So what I want to do, pass me the dog. I assume she's fine with people. We'll soon find out. Generally she's not really. Generally not really. Okay. <laughs> Come darling. You've got quite a bit of strength to you, haven't you? Strong like bull. Uh, she's quite a hench. Oh, so here's another dog with spoiled dog syndrome. <gasps> yeah. Right, let me tell you what happens, right? So take this dog. How to know if a dog has spoiled dog syndrome or not? Spoiled dog syndrome, the dog cannot cope when it is taken away from the handler. Now, a confident dog, you can pick up the lead to Sammy. She'll look at me. Go on in. And she'll walk. You, 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 you. Everybody here would be able to walk my dog. She wouldn't be dragging to get back to the handler. This isn't because they love you. Yeah? This isn't because you are the best thing in their life. This is because they are spoiled and they know when they're next to you, whatever they do works. It's become the norm. It's become safe in a sense. All right. Nervous dogs cannot handle any pressure. Right? Most of the dogs here are nervous. And the one thing they share is when they become next to their owner, they become powerful. Take the dog away from you. It's fine. Put it back to you. Panics. Take one of the German Shepherds away from the owner. You've already said it. Train us to took your dog. Dog's fine. Put it back next to you. Dog becomes powerful again. So what I want you to do is walk towards this German Shepherd for me. And just stop there. Walk towards that one for me and stop when I tell you to do. Stop right there, move on. Walk towards this Staffy for me. Dog's cured. Well done, Soph. Well done. Stop right there. Walk towards this one, but you're going to stop about there. Perfect. You're going to walk towards these two. Bump. Stop right there. Why am I here? <laughs> I know why you're here. It's because I sent you out with Sophie. Yeah. So the, the reason I did that is because you wouldn't have been able to appreciate the seminar at all. You wouldn't have been able to learn anything. Look at your position. See, he's in front of you. So all you have to do, you don't have to move him. You just kind of just have to stand a little bit more in front of him. One step forward. Perfect. See how he breaks away. Yeah. That little itty bitty movements. Can you walk straight towards me? So there, that's what we stop. But he tells you he's going to do that even before he does it. So when he's here, right, what he does is he starts to stretch. Right. Forward. Rawr! Yeah, that's my best pug impression. I know. Oh, <laughs> you actually thought the pug was coming for you, didn't you? All right. It's the eyes. Yeah. Whereas if you walk back again, I've oh, got dark okay. brown eyes. Right, so walk towards me. Keep coming, 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 keep coming. We're going to come around here, going to come around here. So let's stop there. That's all right. Turn and face. This this is awkward. Yeah. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Right. I'm going to go red now. <laughs> Hi, dog. <laughs> Oi! Yeah. But people make their life harder than it needs to be. Like I said, the way you hold the lead all over the place like this, staring at the dog, feeling sorry for it. 
or try to correct the dog when it's behind you. I'm going to try not to make this action again, Giggity. right? But, but, but that's what you're doing versus right. turning oi, and then going back to where you need to be. Imagine it like disciplining a child in a sense, yeah? When your child's naughty, Ben, ben can be my child, oh, yeah. right? Ben, ben can be my child, but this is something that we need to understand, right? So, right. I love you. I love you. Right. So, the reality is, if Ben is playing up, I don't go, Ben, stop it. Enough. Ben. Because he's going to keep doing it. Hey. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> Enough. Yeah. It is a pug eyes. Good. See, mum's there, that was. Can you listen? Enough. Turn the face. Fully. Yep, now turn and face me. So it's, oi, got it. Oi, got it. But it has to be smooth, has to be fluid, yeah? We're not trying to correct, we can't even see what the dog's doing when it's behind us. Enough. Yeah, and this is hard for the dog, because look, we're all here, but everybody wants to turn their back to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, turn, face, you holding your breath? I don't know. <laughs> no, but, but this is the thing, so, we have nothing but time, right, ladies and gentlemen, nothing but time, sorry, dogs have nothing but time to study us. I always say that dogs are excellent at reading people, people are shit at reading dogs, yeah? If I was to tell you, right, to tell off your children or something like that, you would know what to do. You wouldn't stand sideways on as you're shouting at them. You wouldn't stand with your back to them as you're shouting at them, would you? Yeah? You wouldn't give them five pound every time they were telling you to bugger off, would you? But with the dog, we go, it's okay, mate, and we stroke the dog, or we try to give the dog treats to shut it up from barking, right? Or we discipline them by doing this. Hey, I told ya! Yeah, versus turning, actually address the dog as the physical being it is, enough. Yeah? yeah? But we can't have a hand up here as we're doing it. It has to be meaningful. It has to be, oi, yeah? And back, like you mean it. You have to believe it in order for the dog to believe it. Yeah? We can't sit here like this, right? Because this doesn't look like we mean it. It's contradicting. This is why dogs will struggle, right? Does your dog know down? That was it. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, any allergies? One. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Right. Case in point. Ready? Watch this. Sit. <laughs> Why is he down? <laughs> Let's try again. Ready? Sit. Why is he down? It's the gesture. Yeah. So, enough. Enough. It's not. Hey, did you get that? All right. <laughs> Your body language, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, this is why so many people struggle. All right, sit. sit. Stay, stay, stay. It's conflicted. Done really well there, mate. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. You definitely reward that. Right? But they do this. Stay. 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 Pick a boo. Stay. Pick a boo. Right? Sit. Why? Sit. Because it's the actions. Wherever this goes, he follows. Yeah. Yeah? Because dogs, actions speak louder than words. And this is what I mean. We understand that if I go sit and the dog goes down, we all know why that happened, right? Yeah. Nobody's confused when that happens. Sit. Down. Let's give you a win for the proper behavior. Break. Nobody's confused when that happens, but when people have their back to the dog or they're sideways on or they're like this and they're like, hey, enough. Stop. Stay. 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 The dog gets doesn't listen to you. Come here. Sit. Down. Yes. Yeah. 
It's all in the actions. It's all in the body language. So what we do... Hello! Hello, little doggo. Enough. Turn and face me. Perfect. Well done. Yeah? Like I said, it's getting to that point straight away in a way that they understand. We all seem to understand how to communicate to a person. But for some reason, when it's a dog, we just, we stop it. We become the most strange beings in the planet. Yeah? We start telling off the dog the way we would never tell off a person. Yeah? We start trying to display authority by going down to their level. Yeah. yeah it just makes no sense. We start trying to cover their vision by jumping in front of them and doing silly things. Things that we would never do when we're trying to discipline a child. When we're using stern mum voice or stern dad voice. Yeah? And I use this as well because dogs get into trouble normally when they're a puppy and they run over to the wrong dog and they get attacked. And I used this one earlier because the reality is... Do you have children? Who, who, show your hands quickly who has children. Full house. Now, if your child was in here, yeah, would you let him run over to one of these dogs? Why? So why do you, not you now, because you're responsible, you're part of South End Dog Training, yeah? But why do we let our dogs run over to other dogs? You wouldn't let your child do it, so why do you let your dog do it? Now, most dogs, right, live in a household with children, yeah, and are okay with other dogs. You want to assume if a dog's walking around off its lead, it's generally all right with people and other animals. But even if the dog was off the lead, and even if it is lit up saying friendly, you still wouldn't let your child run over to it. Because we know that something could go wrong. But with a dog, we just let him go over there and we go, Hey, what happened? And when the mm. shit hits the fan, oh, the fall. when the mm. hits the fan, we freak out and the dog has a bad experience. Yeah? Like I said, we all seem to understand how to communicate assertiveness, pleasure, giggity, to people. We understand the importance of not letting children run over to other dogs. We understand with a child, Oi, cut it out. We understand with a child, if they went f dumb, that's going to go down like a sack of shit. But with a dog, we reward them. Yeah, good boy. Or we just turn into a freaking alien. Turn our back to them. Start throwing the rule book out the window. Yeah, run over to everyone. It's fine. I wouldn't let my child do it, but you run over to them. That's fine. That dog might bite my child. No, no chance in hell of biting my dog. See where we're going with this? They are a different species, but they respond to your body language, even more so than people. That's why when I pointed to the floor and went sit, that dog had no hesitation but to go into a sit. Yeah. Because of my body language. Actions speak louder than words. If your dog's not listening to you, ask yourself, what are you displaying in your body language? Bye, have a great time.